Google Cloud Next. I'm delighted to have all of you here with us today. And to the tens of thousands joining us virtually from across the region, thank you so much for tuning in. And for those of you here in Munich, it's been three years, three whole years since we've had the chance to connect face to face at a Next event and we have a lot to catch up on. And today, we'll be looking at the transformative power of cloud technology and how it can help drive your organization's transformation forward. In the past few years, Renault Alliance and SEB have both aggressively been pursuing transformation strategies. And for both organizations, cloud technology sits at the very core of their transformations. To share more about this bold course of action, please join me in welcoming two leaders, Renault Alliance's Vice President of IT Services, Stefan Van Uck, and Petra Uhland, Head of Tech and the Group Executive Committee member from SEB. Please join me in welcoming to the stage. Great to have you. So thank you so much for being with us. Maybe we start off <coughs> by helping the audience here to understand a little bit about the vision for transformation that you have in your company. Stefan, let's, let's start with you and the Renault story. When we say transformation, we mean transformation across all areas of the business. Uh, first, a new approach to our product. Renault Group is completely changing what is delivered to its customer. From offering just vehicle, we are moving to offering mobility services. Our vision is that 20% of our revenue will come from services by 2030. This means a new approach to product development to deliver electrified, connected, and software-defined vehicles by 2025. Second, we are changing the, the company business operating model. All operations will be cloud-based, data-driven, and AI-enabled. We need to gain in agility and scalability, improve security, and at the same time, conti continuously provide new services. Uh, the cloud delivered the best platform for us to drive these opportunities. SEB was formed 165 years ago, so this will definitely not be our first transformation. We are a wholesale bank, but we're also one of the largest IT organizations in the Nordics. Banking today is about IT and data. That's where we meet our customers' expectations with new innovative services. And we believe traditional banks with our key asset in people and funds can use the cloud in very powerful ways to be the best banks of tomorrow. Digital transformation is critical to our ability to succeed with these business goals. And from a technology standpoint, we have a set vision to be cloud native by 2030. Google is a critical part of our digital transformation. Uh, we are working on the end-to-end -end process from a car design to its launch through uh, the manufacturing quality check supply chain management and delivery to the dealers. Uh, the car usage will be then monitored and analyzed using our car data platform for a better understanding of our customers. Renault has also connected over 30 manufacturing plants uh, and the associated uh, supply chain to the Google Cloud platform in order to collect data. We are switching to data-driven manufacturing and supply chain models. Uh, our first strategy was multi-cloud, then we switched to uh, a GCP first. Uh, beyond trust, Renault Group chose Google as a partner for multiple reasons. Uh, Google Cloud is offering the best value for money. Uh, Google Cloud is offering true cloud flexibility and ability to respond to short and long term challenges. Uh, and cloud, uh, the Google Cloud data is the best value proposal on today's market. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the Google teams are very skilled and very supportive to any of our challenges. Petra, how are you at SEB working with Google? on the other digital transformation efforts that you have in the company? Yeah, when we started our journey to become cloud native, we evaluated many options, and while we set on a multi-cloud strategy, Google Cloud has supplied all the functionality we've needed so far. But more than that, their true partnership in helping us solve challenging problems through an integrated approach of collaboration, technology, and training has really been an asset for us. And in a highly regulated industry, building trust is a foundation for personalized services. It's enabled by technology for security, know your customer, and compliance. So our role is very much to enable companies and individuals to make choices that contribute to sustainable society. Our experience of working with Google is that Google combines both the stability, reliability, and responsibility of a major enterprise. 
and also the speed, innovation, and flexibility of a startup. To echo Adair, across Europe, Middle East, and Africa, now more than ever, cloud is essential for digital transformation. Cloud has to deliver more value and more innovation to organizations. From understanding your customers better, helping you make your supply chain more resilient, bringing people together to improve not just their productivity, but their creativity, and creating seamless interactions across your entire value chain. We're committed at Google Cloud to the digital transformation of all businesses across Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And the continued investments in cloud on Europe's terms to support sovereignty, security, and sustainability. The transformation era of cloud is marked by a completely different kind of conversation. How do we become the best at understanding and using data? How do we ensure we have the best technology infrastructure? How do we know that our data, our systems, and our users are secure? How do we create the best workplace for our people? And how do we collectively create a more sustainable future? How does an organization actually become the best at understanding and using their data? You know, it turns out data is at the heart of digital innovation, and it's really the key to unlocking AI. Google is a leader in the analysis of structured and unstructured data, and we are unifying the data ecosystem for you, creating the most open data cloud. And this includes actually all of your data in all of your formats from all sources from many clouds. And collectively, it's about enabling all styles of analysis. And the first stop is business intelligence. In the business intelligence space, let's be honest, we actually have two sets of data. On the one side, there is centralized, highly governed and well-managed data. It's used for standardized reports and dashboards. And on the other side, well, we have that not so much official data. It's often distributed and it's many times used for self-service dashboarding, right? Google has products for both of these worlds. First, we have Looker. It is the leading product for governed data access. It has strong business semantics, and it's really the foundation for data-driven application building. And we have Google Cloud Data Studio. It's one of the most popular tools for self-service data visualizations and discovery. And today, we announced that we are unifying these two products into a single offering called Looker and Looker Studio. And with that, actually, we're going to unify self-service BI with trusted data. We are also announcing Looker Studio Pro. Looker Studio Pro is an enhancement of that with additional support and management capabilities. We understand that to fully embrace transformation in the cloud, you not only need security, you also need trust. You need confidence and peace of mind that when you deploy the latest innovations, you can meet your unique requirements for control, transparency, and sovereignty. Whether that's driven by your regulator, by geopolitical considerations, or indeed by the government and its policy. At Google Cloud, we take digital sovereignty seriously. Customers, partners, policymakers, and governments have surfaced three requirements in three very specific areas. The first is data sovereignty, which is keeping control over encryption and access to your data. The second is operational sovereignty. This is keeping visibility and control over the provider operations. And the third is software sovereignty. This is running workloads without a dependence on a provider software. To address these requirements, we launched our initiative, Cloud on Europe's Terms, in September of 2021. To support data residency requirements, we continue to launch cloud regions in EMEA. Just recently, we launched new regions in Qatar, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and Greece, adding to our 16 cloud regions here in EMEA. And today, 
I'm really excited to announce new cloud regions for four more countries. For Austria, for Norway, for Sweden and South Africa. Our unique relationship with T-Systems in Germany here demonstrates how we deliver both the full benefit of the public cloud and confidence in compliance with German regulations. And to discuss this, I'd really like to welcome on stage Adele al CEO of T-Systems. Please join me in welcoming Adele. Hello, dear. Great to have you here, Adele. Thank you. Thank you so much. So T-Systems uh, was Google Cloud's first digital sovereignty partner in Europe. And as you know, since then, we've partnered in France, in Spain, um, and in Italy, and probably more to come. But it started with you. Yes. Um, why do you think this partnership model is so important, not just for Germany, but in Europe and beyond? Well, there, first of all, thank you for having me. It's great to be in a room full of people again. <laughs> Um, you know, sovereignty has been a topic for um, a period of time. This is not a new topic. Right? Um, it's driven by multiple factors. Um, geopolitical tensions is driving it. The bifurcation of the world between East and West. The fear of being dependent on somebody and not being able to move uh, is another. The war in Europe that we didn't expect is fueling even more this sovereignty sentiment. Um, and at the core of it, as I said, is fear of dependency, but also fear of not complying with regulatory environments. And you talked about data. Data is a big deal here, right? How do I control my data? How do I make sure I know exactly who is touching it, where is it, etc.? cetera? And um, we've seen this opportunity develop over multiple years. Um, and we found this opening where we worked jo jointly with you uh, to develop the engineering solution. Um, and, um, you know, I'm super excited about that because it is a unique way of providing a hyperscaler solution with the sovereign controls that allows companies digitize, allows them to use the best of the cloud without losing their sovereignty and their worries about controls. So as um, our companies perform a risk assessment, you know, often looking at what the regulators have suggested, I, I think there's a very strong sense that the time to act is now, as you said, this yes. solution is available. And that's because of the upside that is significant. So if I asked you about that upside, what would excite you most about it? Look, there's a lot of things that I'm, I'm super excited about. I'm excited, first of all, about this engineering solution that addresses European concern. Um, this is a unique solution. Um, it doesn't compromise in terms of access to the hyperscaler stacks and all of the exciting technology that you just learned. Um, so I'm excited about bringing it to the market and, and, and showcasing it and bringing customers on it. I'm excited about onboarding our clients. Uh, you know, we're, we're learning as we, as we bring every client on board and, and that makes us stronger. That makes us um, revisit our roadmaps and decide what to prioritize. So let me thank you once again for placing your trust in Google Cloud. Google is investing for the future and we are here to help, whatever comes next.